Okay, we're going to take a look at why you're going to want to break the confusion stage of gang stalking. Now, um, this is a chart we're looking at and it's showing symptoms of isolation. Um, this is how does loneliness and isolation affect your mental health? Uh, the reading is, okay, it starts off, everyone feels lonely from time to time, but long periods of loneliness or social isolation can have negative impact on your physical health, mental and social health. Some signs include physical symptoms, aches and pains, headaches, illness, or worsening of medical conditions. Mental health conditions, increased risk of depression, anxiety, paranoia, or panic attacks. Low energy, uh, tiredness, or lack of motivation. Um, sleep problems. Difficulty getting to sleep, waking, uh, waking frequently or sleeping too much. Diet problems, loss of appetite, sudden weight gain or loss. Substance use, increased consumption of alcohol, smoking, medications, drugs, negative feelings, feelings of worth, worthlessness, worthlessness, <laughs> hopelessness, or thoughts of about suicide. Okay, <clears throat> out of all the people, I'm, I'm going, I'm pushing towards 80 people now that I've been talking to intimately over the telephone for hours about gang stalking. Um, since I came out of my courses in June of 2016, I began immediately running across these. The first person I talked to had all of these symptoms. Everything from suicide to uh, um, low energy, uh, um, you say headaches, pains. Um, you know, they just, it was a de depressing type of situation. <clears throat> the individuals that followed after that, a lot of them... Um, we're, we're coming out of this as well. Some of them not as much as others, but now I'm up to close to 80 different people. Um, and I've spoke to these people for hours. Uh, this isn't a thing where it's just a, you know, a quick email or hire goodbye. I don't even count the emails. I'm counting just the people that I've spent hours with talking to on the phone. The first conversation usually lasting three hours. Okay. Um, uh, now, no one wants to have any of this stuff happen to them. So you're going to want to break the isolation. You're going to want to break any fear you have. You're going to want to break any connection you have to this energy right here. The energy right there is not something you want to participate in. So you want to sidestep that and get active and start uh, contact. I, I encourage you to communicate with the people that you feel are part of the gang stalking. And so you, in, you intercept them. Um, if somebody's doing brightening towards you, you wave at the cars and keep waving at them. Sometimes I have to switch hands. If I go out and I'm demonstrating my courses and I'm recording on my phone, I keep my arm up so long, sometimes I got to switch arms, I'll end up waving at 100 cars easily with, you know, that, that are passing by with one arm, um, talking to them, smiling at them, talking to them. A lot of times they'll be. A lot of times they'll start waving back. They'll start smiling back. A lot of times they'll start honking their horn. Um, there's been times where some of the people have uh, pulled over and picked me up and given me rides. Um, you know, there's been numbers exchanged. Um, there's been relations. I've, some of the people who've been gang stalking me um, that started gang stalking me. Uh, there was times where the, you know some of the women that were a part of it. There was relations that came out of it. Um, so you want to be active with this. You, you, you don't want your energy to decrease. If you feel you're having an issue with your energy to keep doing this, you go drink some water, some, some Gatorade, get yourself an energy drink, and you jump back into it. Um, the first few times, you may be like, man, I'm not getting the results I want. I feel like I'm, people aren't taking me seriously. It doesn't, don't, don't worry about how you're being taken seriously. Just be as polite and respectful as possible and keep jumping into it repeatedly. If you have to withdraw your energy and go back into your home to stabilize a little bit and relax a little bit because it's too much for you, go right ahead. But but don't don't ever throw in the towel. The, the second the second you get feel your amp and you're ready for it, you jump back into it again. Go into a Walmart or whatever store is by you, um, or you go to gas stations, go to shopping malls. If the weather is nice and it's warm, and you live in an area there's a lot of people outside, that's more opportunity. You want to keep jumping into that opportunity. There was one day, I remember, I went down the street and I went to every single store. 
and talk to everybody working at the store about gang stalking, everybody coming and going from the stores about gang stalking. And I just kept telling them, you know, I beat gang stalking. I, I did this so much, so much. Um, it just got to the point to where when I walked into a store, I didn't even feel like I had to do it anymore. I didn't even feel like the people that were, I, they, it didn't even mean nothing to me. People are following me, doing assignments, so what? But now I'm back doing my courses, and so I haven't done this in a long time. But you just go through it. You just jump through it. You just keep doing it over and over repeatedly. And then um, I stress to people the importance of the genie effect. Um, you can then change. Uh, the gang stalking is based on you. Uh, this has to do with mimicking. If you feel you're being mimicked. A lot of times the people participating in the mimicking don't even know what mimicking is. They're just being asked to wear a particular coat. Uh, if, you know, if they're wearing a coat that you normally wear and they're trying to mimic that back to you, that's in the detail of their assignment. They won't even know what mimicking is. So oftentimes I explain to them um, how they're mimicking me. And I explain to them the network of the gang stalking and how their participation is. Sometimes they'll be looking at me like, like really? Wow, that's why they asked me to do that? You know, that, that's what that was about? And so now it becomes an educational thing for them. But if you don't want to experience, now to me, why would you want to experience low energy? Why would you want to experience headaches or pains? Why would you want to experience negative feelings? Why would you want to experience sleep problems? That's not something you want to participate in. So you're sidestepping all of that and taking the route that I'm giving you. And you, you take the power in your own hands. Okay? So for, for people who are calling the United Nations looking for help and they're getting the phone slammed in their face or calling the cops and the cops are laughing at you and don't, want, and, and, and don't know what you're talking about, you have to become your own, you know, don't, don't look for the light. You become the light. You know, you become your own light. You, be, you don't need all this other stuff. You know, I know for some people it's a real bad fight and some people just feel like they can't. They can't get out there and do that. I encourage you to meet up with other people who are being gang stalked who can do it and get around them. Okay? But. Now, this is interesting. We're going to get into this chart right here. It says loneliness can be overcome. Connect or reconnect with friends and family. See? You see how it's talking about connection? Connect. That means they're wanting you to make the same bond with people, bond with friends, bond with family. Staying in contact with loved ones can prevent loneliness and isolation. If your family don't live nearby, technology can help you stay in touch. So, you know, human beings are social animals. You know, all animals require uh, some sort of comfort in some sort of way. So that's the first thing you want to do is make connections. If you can make, a, if you can, if it's only one time a day, go for it. You know, but if you can get up to fifty times a day, or a hundred times a day, then you're on point. Then you, then you really, you really, you've really gone. You really, you're really achieving something. Get out and about. Regular outings and social functions, exercise, visiting friends, doing shopping, or simply going to public places can help. Yeah. Go to the go to the mall if you're if you're listening to this and you're being gang stalked and you want to try the courses that I have and the help I have to offer, then I encourage you right now as you're listening to this, go to a shopping mall. Go right now to a shopping mall, and just go in there and talk to everybody you can, every single person you can you can, about gang stalking or about what to give tell them something about yourself, and then tell them about your experience with gang stalking. And you just repeatedly just, just go out and keep doing it. And if you go to a place that's nice, like a bank or an office, you know, as in Rome, do as the Romans do. Dress, you know, dress accordingly and all that type of stuff. Approach the people, talk to them, tell them something about yourself, tell them about gang stalking and let them know I'm, I'm communicating with you about this because of the effect that gang stalking has had on me with isolation. So I want you to know who I am and what gang stalking is. And I'm working on beating it. See? And you just keep repeatedly doing that. Um, get involved in your community. Try a new or old hobby. Join a club. Enroll in study or learn a new skill. Try looking online at local. To have community college, library, or community center for things in your area. 
that may be interesting to you. Yeah, a lot of this has to do, you know, if there was community education on gang stalking, it wouldn't be around. Um, if you can go into a college or a library or someplace out and about and, re and communicate openly with people and ask them if they can assist you or maybe you and somebody else getting gang stalked and get together and try to start your own program. You know, for people being not, and you can include other, uh, you can, you can attach cyber stalking to it. You can, you can, you know, cause stalking affects a lot of different people. It's not just gang stalking. There's people being stalked online, cyber bullying, cyber stalking. So you can attach a cliche of things to it that will make the average person more available for listening. So the average person is going to say, well, I'm not being gang stalked. How does this affect me? And you can attach cyber stalking to it. You can attach a lot of different things to it that make them feel comfortable. Um, and you can let them know, you know, well, this could happen to you. Or this could happen to you. Do you want this to happen to your grandchildren? Do you want your grandchildren to be getting, you know, followed around like this and told that they're crazy and may end up getting their food drug? And you let, you want, is that something you want to happen to your grandchildren? Okay, so you explain it to them like that, you know, because it's probable. It happens to people every single day. People just wake up out of the bed getting gang stuck. Uh, volunteer. Helping others is a great way to help yourself and feel more connected. I think that's a great idea. Volunteering. Um, it would be interesting to see some, you know, somebody pick up some trash on the side of the highway or pick up some trash in an area and somehow attach that to what they're doing for their stride to beat gang stalking. Say, you know, I, w I was putting in this community service um, and I'm being gang stalked. And you can make some, somehow make, um, make something out of that revolving around what's going on with you. I would encourage people to create their own groups, though. I would encourage the people being gang stalked to create their own groups, to create their own volunteer group to help, of course, other people. Um, that are going through this or other people that have other uh, that are being stalked in general like we were saying earlier with the cyber stalking Consider getting a pet You know that's Get support if only that's a... a lot of what I do is counseling um, There's a lot of different people that I speak to over the phone many of them are so used to being told or that they're paranoid or told that they're delusional or they're, they, they're afraid to talk to people. Um, they've been, uh, you know, people have laughed at them or hung up the phone on them or the people themselves were participating in the gang stalking to some degree. And they just didn't want to help them for whatever reason. So a lot of what I do over the phone is like counseling and coaching. I think I spend... 90% of the time talking to people over the phone, just listening to what they have to say, right? Just listening to what they have to say and making them, you know, so they can release it. I only spend about 10% of the time really telling people to go after uh, these these courses, these, these um, you know, approaching the people that are gang stalking them, working on the genie effect. The majority of it is counseling the people.